is up everybody, Felipe Miranda here, your Southwest Florida Realtor. Today we're here in Naples Square. So this is another Rondo community. Sorry, it's pretty windy, hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh, this is a Rondo community. So in downtown, they built 1111, which I'll the video on, and right here in Naples Square. Naples Square is now at the fourth and final building which is going to be right over there under construction and it's pretty much sold out there are only three units left ranging from over 2600 to 2900 square feet price points between 3.1 million to 3.4 million okay they have picked out most of the finishes already i'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a tour uh alex helped me out here she she showed me some of the details what's going on but if you want a new build, there is opportunity to go under contract on three units, okay? And if you, there's, there are also resale opportunities. So that's why I'm doing this video. If you guys want to be here, then you don't exactly like the location or you don't like anything, you don't like the waiting, or there's something about the new units that you don't like, there's opportunities to be a to be building. This is building three, building two and one. This, the new construction is uh, building four, which they're calling the Quattro. So they're changing a few things. They're gonna have, the pool is gonna be a little bit larger. I'm gonna show you guys the pool in building three. So the amenities are gonna be a little different. The pool is gonna be larger. There's gonna be two spas. There'll actually be two bars. actual fitness center is going to be upgraded They're, they'll have a peloton a little bit more upgraded machines there's also going to be a, a you know your game room your your uh, kind of kind of lounge area so that's all going to be a little different but i'm going to show you what's on building three now so you have an idea kitchen on the model the model that I'm gonna show you guys it's gonna be really the kitchen and the bathroom that are gonna be similar obviously the living area won't be the same these are pretty large units uh, the the unit that I'm showing you on the model is actually built on a trailer so it's pretty small but it gives you an idea of the finishes the quality of the work this is a natural gas community uh, they're gonna have high-end appliances you're gonna have your your wolf sub-zero Amelia, uh, Amelia uh, dishwasher I mean, just just really, really nice high-end finishes. For the Dario and the Dante would look like. Mm -hmm. um, the paneling, the cabinetry that we chose is white for those mm -hmm. two floor plans. Wolf Sub-Zero appliances. Um, the countertop, I do believe that this is the actual countertop that is going in those um, D-plan units. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Giada is a little bit different, but this does give you a good idea for the size, what comes standard. Um, the little five burner gas stove the, the, Yep, the gas stove. Mm -hmm. Really neat. Double waste pullouts over here. Your meal a dishwasher is actually just a little further down, right here. And then wood paneling does come standard over your appliances. This is your wolf. Mm -hmm. As for flooring, this mm -hmm. is one of the flooring options. You can do that hair and bone pattern. If not, it'll just go straight one way. Um, I see, okay. Mm -hmm. The linear diffusers here. You can see the larger windows that are shown in the design center here. Is 
We've tried our best uh, in this design center. Uh, we have listed everything that's included or as an upgrade, mm -hmm. like the the paneling. Um, I'm sorry, extending the wood flooring up the wall here. That is yep. an upgrade. It's something you can certainly do, um, but it does not come standard. It doesn't come standard up to the up to the ceiling, right? No, they would end just up. Gotcha. Once you hit the end of the shower. Same thing here, the J boxes and the lights and the mirrors. If not, it would just be the can lights coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can actually add that if you want. At this point with electric, I think electric is already done with building. I don't know if you can change it or not. That's a good question for PCB. Uh, yep. We got some guys banging up right there on the roof, banging away. Estimated completion date is going to be the end of this year early next year at the latest. So say January 2023 at the latest if you're looking for a new build, a new unit. Now, like I said, there are resale opportunities as well. I can help you with both, okay? A few things going on uh, in front of building four. This is an old image. Okay. But what's nice here is that this is a rendered in Naples Square as a whole. Building one, two, three, and quattro. So this kind of gives you a good morning shot of where these units are. Let's see. So this would be where the Dante is, looking out towards the fountain at the main entrance of Maple Square. Mm -hmm. This It's hidden behind a palm tree here, but um, second floor would be your Dario looking out this way. And then your third floor, again, kind of hidden behind the palm trees here, but that would be your Giada. They're all looking out this way. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have that AC Marriott right here mm -hmm. with the rooftop pool, three levels high here, 150 unit hotel. Their ground level parking is going to be on the back side here, but this street is what's going to go and um, it's going to be the access point for the hotel. You'll have the restaurant here. We're expecting to have some kind of steakhouse here, small plaza here, golf shore playhouse in this area. And then you can see Bayfront, Tin City, Fifth Avenue. It's all in a nice aerial shot here. Flip the camera here. There's the bay front end, so we're walking distance to the, I mean, literally across the street. You have Tin City right down the street, and then you're gonna have Fifth Ave walking distance as well. So we're right in third. Um, I mean, pretty pretty close to everything. So if location is something you guys are looking for. Uh, also, a big difference, you know, I can help you if you're interested in 1111 Naples. Some people have called me about that. I can help you with resales there. That 1111 is completely sold out right now. But a big difference is 1111 has more of a community feel. They only have one large central uh, amenity center, I would say, in the middle of the of the community, where here each building has their own amenities. So buildings one and two, they don't have gas. They're electric, right? And then buildings three and four are, are natural gas communities. So they, they've also tried to upgrade the finishes, right? Higher end finishes, the kitchen, the flooring. Um, the windows, instead of being four feet, they're three feet. They start three feet up from the ground, which gets you more lighting. There's just, just the small details, a lot of attention to small details, which is what you're looking for in this price point. Okay, uh, so there's the new building. The bay front end is right there. I'm trying not to get run over my cars over here, guys. And I'll show you guys where. So the Gulf Shore Playhouse would be literally right here. The Marriott's basically going to go from the end of the street all the way to this pile of dirt here, roughly. And then you'll have your restaurant where this, well, maybe a little farther down, but this is the trailer where I showed you guys the, the kitchen and the bathroom. This is where they have the model there right now. So, uh, pretty cool opportunity. Great location. Again, there's opportunity for you to jump on three new builds. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about Alex and I are gonna show you guys locations and information on it. If you guys are interested in that, call me right away because they're taking contracts on it right away. First come, first serve. Um, once you go under contract, you have 15 days. You put a fifty thousand dollar deposit. You have 15 days to really make up your mind. You know find a little bit more about it, find about the finishes. Like I said, the, the finishes are pre-selected mostly. There are certain things you may be able to change the quicker we go under contract. So even though if there's a color scheme you just can't live with or something like that, we can, you know, they said they can work on that. At the end of the day, they're looking to close out these three units. That's why I wanted to do this video for you guys. And if the new builds, like I said, if location is something about those specific units you don't like, but you want to be, in here, let me know. I'd love to get you guys.
guys hooked up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.